<clears throat> okay, here we have a setup to determine the, uh, the actual resonant frequency of the secondary on a very large Tesla coil. In case you ever wondered what it is, what it, what it means, it's, imagine a swing set swinging. The objective is to push that swing occupant uh, at the proper interval and you can build momentum that way. Well, the same thing happens with electron or electricity and magnetism. So what happens is uh, you want to push the wave and it, and it adds itself and it becomes multiples and it will keep building and building and building until you get uh, a very large um, discharge. Basically that's the, the, the purpose of the, of, the, of the coil itself. So um, again this is just a simple little 100 megahertz uh, scope and what I've got is a resistor just a little wire wound carbon filament whatever resistor nothing fancy as my antenna hung eh, maybe two feet away from it. and what that's going to do is let me touch it here and you'll be able to see it it'll actually hear the ringing frequency of the uh, Tesla coil so second piece of equipment you'll need is a uh, working function generator basically a signal generator I've got this one set up to output a square wave and uh, it's at 15 volts um, <clears throat> which is nice I mean it's got a little bit of power behind it which is um, kind of what we're looking at let me um, start showing what's going to happen here right now I'm set at 50 kilohertz and uh, I'm going to increase it slowly and you'll notice on this oscilloscope what you're looking for is this bang that's the resonant frequency you notice how it peaked and right now we're pushing at 70 it's kind of hard to see but anyway 70 uh, 70 kilohertz that's its primary resonant frequency now if you think music and um, you go an octave above this which is you'll be able to find its second resonant frequency but it's not as strong uh, let me just keep pushing here it comes you will get a little bit more probably around a 200 range here, let me see you want to get to it you start seeing a little bit of a there it is, okay, this is its second resonant frequency that happens to be 218 uh, kilohertz so basically that's what's, that's what's going on, let me go back down to its primary resonant frequency which is 70 and bam, okay there it is so now this is kind of a neat little thing because just being in close proximity to the coil will detune it. If you notice, what I've done is detuned the circuit to a point where it's not putting out anything. Same thing if I talk, if I touch the uh, the actual output capacitor or torrid, whatever you want to call it, capacitor, and uh, you'll notice just being getting near the thing will change its frequency output strength. Pretty, pretty simple. That's how it works. And basically, I've got uh, my signal gener function generator one going to earth ground. I have a ground strip on my bench, and the other one's going in the. Uh, actually, I have it going in the ground of the secondary coil, which um, goes the entire length and then terminates at the top of the uh, torrid. So that's how you verify or determine resonant frequency and you also notice on the scope it the scope has a frequency output which is 70 kilohertz and you can um, you can tweak it in a little bit further the objective honest objective is to go just a little bit shy of the actual resonant frequency whenever you set up your bottom your primary coil for the reason that a streamer coming off of the coil the big lightning bolt will actually detune the coil to a lower frequency so therefore you want to try to keep it uh, keep it just slightly out of tune and then whenever the sparks are emitting out of the out of the top of the coil it will be in tune it's all about tuned music think music and resonant frequencies and harmonics that's how it works <laughs>